Hi, it's Gabriel, and I'm here with Ben, and he's going to help us with this problem. What are we doing today? Today we're going to find where a function is increasing and decreasing, as well as the concavity and the inflection points. And it's also a trigonometric equation, so we're going to need to use what type of tools? We're going to use our calculator, and notice on the bottom we have a unit circle that we'll need it for uh, later in the problem. Right here. Okay. So let's start with part A. For part A, I need to take the derivative of f prime of theta, which is going to be equal to? Using the coefficient rule, the derivative of theta would just be 1. 1 minus 2 times the derivative of sine of theta, which is? Cosine theta. Cosine theta. This is going to be f theta is equal to 1 minus 2 cosine theta. We need to find the critical points. To find the critical points, we set the derivative equal to zero and solve for theta. We first move the one over. These cancel and I'm left with negative one is equal to negative two cosine theta. Then divide both sides by negative two. What's a negative one divided by a negative two? Positive positive one-half is equal to cosine of theta. So now what do we do? Okay, we need to find the angles um, on a unit circle for which the x-coordinate is one-half. Perfect, so these would be the angles that you see inside the unit circle are angles, which refers to this, that's what we're looking for, so that's, a, that's an angle. And you said that this was what? An x-coordinate. This would be my x-coordinate, right? So let's say this is x, and this is my y-coordinate. We're going to look for this x-coordinate to be 1 half. Where would that happen? Going from 0 to 3 pi, we have 1 at pi over 3. Right here. So... That's one angle that we need. That's going to be one of our critical points. Where else? Right there at 5 pi over 3. 5 pi over 3. Our range says that we go from 0 to 3 pi. So this would be 2 pi plus 1 pi is 3 pi. So we're overlapping. So we would need to use this 2 pi plus another pi. Is that right? No, uh, plus another, uh, pi over 3. Or what would that give you? <clears throat> I get 7 pi over 3. So 2 pi plus pi over 3 is equal to 7 pi over, over 3. Over 3. Okay. And those are our critical points. I'm going to label them here. So theta is equal to pi over 3, 5 pi over 3, and 7 pi over 3. These are our critical points for the first derivative. And what do we do with those? We're going to <clears throat> put them on a number line, okay. and we need to find test points in between each of them. We have three of them. Three critical points, pi over 3, 5 pi over 3, and 7 pi over 3. So what would be good test points? Mm. To the left of pi over 3, I chose 0. 0. So let's call that region A. The region between these two would be B, C, and D. You chose 0 here, so what's between pi, pi over 3 and 5 pi? I chose just pi. Pi, okay. How about between 5 pi and 7 pi mm -hmm. over, I'm sorry, 5 pi over 3 and 7, seven pi over 3? Uh, I, I chose 2 pi. 2 pi. And the last region would be going from 
So we're going around past pi over 3, so somewhere over here, mm -hmm. which would be? Uh, pi over 2 plus uh, half a pi would be 5 pi over 2. Pi over 2 plus what? Uh, 2 pi? Plus 2 pi. I get 5 pi over 2. Would be 5 pi over 2. Okay, perfect. And what do we do with those? We plug these test points into our first derivative. So let's write up. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down a little bit. So I'm going to have f prime of some number here is equal to 1 minus, minus 2 cosine of that angle. And my test points are, I'm going to test 0 first. What would I get from that? Cosine of 0 is 1. The cosine of 0 is 1. So we have a negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. <clears throat> and it's 1 minus 2, we get a negative 1 out of that. This would be negative 1. So that means that we would be decreasing here. In this region, region A, what's our next test point? You can plug in a pi. Pi here. And what would the result of that be? Well, cosine of pi, we would look at the unit circle. Pi is right here. Cosine is the x value, so that would be negative 1. Negative 1 times a negative 2 is a positive 2. A positive 2 plus a 1 is positive 3. Positive 3. Mm -hmm. And that's test region B, which refers to this right here. And it's increasing. Now we're going to test 2 pi. Here's, this is going to be 2 pi. What's cosine of 2 pi? Cosine is here. Cosine refers to the x coordinate in the unit circle. So it's 1. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2 plus 1. Negative it's one. negative 1. <clears throat> and that's region C. So it decreases from here to here as well. And our last test point is... Five pi over two. Five pi over two. Well, five pi over two, we said was here, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's two pi plus pi over two. Cosine is zero there. So zero plus one is one. And that's region D. A positive number is a positive slow here. That's how our increase and decrease will look like. Let's write them as intervals now. So f of x is increasing from where to where? From pi over 3. Pi over 3. To 5 pi over 3 to 5 pi over 3. Union with? Next interval is 7 pi over 3. 7 pi over 3. To 3 pi. To 3 pi? Mm -hmm. That's it? 3 pi? Mm -hmm. Because okay. that's, that's a range from 0 to that's 3 pi. Right. So this 3 pi ends because of that range that they gave us in the very beginning. f of x is decreasing from... 0 to pi over 3. 0 to pi over 3. Union with... Next one I get is 5 pi over 3. 5 pi over 3. To 7 pi over 3. To 7 pi over 3. And we're done with part 1. Now, let's go ahead and move on to part... B.